Hello everyone, welcome back to Geo Technical Academy channel. In this example, we are going to investigate the effect of water table on the ultimate bearing capacity of uh, strip foundation resting on dense sandy soil. In the previous example, we investigated the ultimate bearing capacity of strip foundation using Plaxus 2D, but we didn't consider the effect of water table. So please, if you didn't uh, watch the previous video uh, on Steve Foundation, I uh, suggest that you uh, watch the previous video before you watch this one. In the previous video, we uh, explained uh, the geometry of the soil and foundation and dimension of the foundation and the load which we apply to the foundation. And I also shortly discussed about the uh, general types of uh, shear failure of the soil like uh, uh, general shear failure, uh, local shear failure and punching shear failure. We also uh, defined uh, the material and we assigned to the soil. Uh, we also defined the uh, strip foundation material so we uh, describe the strip footing as a, a plate and uh, this uh, was the parameters of the uh, strip foundation. We talked about this in detail in previous uh, video. So uh, this is the Plaxis file of the previous video. Uh, as you see if uh, I go to soil and uh, if I double click on the borehole as I see in here we uh, don't have any water so in this example we didn't uh, consider the effect of water table so for uh, this example uh, first I will save uh, the example uh, in a different name uh, I go to file and say project as so I Uh, I give three foundation plus effect of water table save and I double click on the borehole and uh, in the head I write nine point Five. It means uh, the water table is located 0.5 meters below the strip foundation. I click OK. So I don't have anything to do in this example. We are just investigating the effect of water table. So everything is OK. We, it's, it even doesn't need to mesh again. So I go to stage construction and uh, calculate. So I... Uh, choose calculate all faces again Okay, the calculation is finished now. I save uh, the model and uh, click on the view calculation results. So this is a deformed mesh of the model, uh, which is scaled up uh, five times. So as uh, 
in previous example we can uh, check the total displacement uh, in x direction y direction and we can see the contours uh, but uh, the most important is the load settlement curve of the strip foundation so i click curve manager and click new in x axis i choose uh, the multiplier m stage and in the y direction i choose uh, the uh, node at the center of the foundation and uh, i choose the settlement in y direction and ok so i right click go to setting and i want to uncheck the initial and sip uh, foundation phase so we just need uh, the lot in the loading phase the last phase okay so uh, if you remember in a previous example uh, the ultimate m stage was about 0.8 but in this example because uh, the water table uh, causes a decrease in ultimate bearing capacity of foundation so to uh, compare this uh, results with the previous example I will copy this results and open the Excel or the previous file this was uh, the lot uh, settlement curve of the uh, previous example uh, which we didn't consider the effect of what it table so I copy the results of this example here and I change to general so I don't need the point and step again so I also do uh, some modification to the results we get from places so okay So I multiply the M stage by 350 kN. And multiply the settlement by 1000 to change from meter to millimeter. Okay, now I will add this uh, load settlement data to this uh, figure. Right click on the figure and select data. I will add a new one and write a name, for example, with water table. This value is this load column and the y column is this one so as you see uh, this the orange one is uh, the loss settlement care uh, for sea foundation uh, under the effect of water table as we see uh, there's a decrease in the failure point for example in a previous example uh, without 
water table the ultimate building capacity is was about 280 kilonewton per meter but uh, when we add the water table uh, 0.5 meter below the strip foundation the ultimate bearing capacity was decreased from 280 to 250 so this example shows how uh, the plexus is powerful to uh, consider the effect of water table on uh, shallow foundation uh, and uh, thank you for watching